On the night of November 11, 1994, the 911 emergency line in Kitsap County, Washington, lit up with an extraordinary series of calls. From around 2 a.m. onwards, multiple residents reported hearing strange, unsettling sounds echoing through the forest near the rural community of Duato. One caller described hearing a real strange noise, not a human sound. Another reported animals going crazy and screaming sounds. A third caller mentioned a great big huge animal making sounds they'd never heard before. These calls, now known as the 1994 Washington Bigfoot 911 calls, reignited interest in the Bigfoot phenomenon. The sheer number of independent reports, all describing similar unsettling sounds, made this incident particularly intriguing to Bigfoot researchers. Could these sounds really be from an undiscovered creature? We think so, and by the end of this video, so will you. Before we dive into specific evidence, let's consider whether a creature like Bigfoot could theoretically exist in our modern world. To answer this question, we need to look at several factors that would influence the possibility of such a large, undiscovered animal. First, let's consider the habitat. North America boasts vast forested areas that could potentially harbor a large elusive creature. From the dense woods of the Pacific Northwest to the expansive forests of Canada, there are still areas remote enough to hide something big. However, it's important to note that these wild spaces are shrinking due to human development, and even the most remote areas are increasingly monitored by humans and technology. Now, what about the size of this hypothetical creature? Bigfoot is typically described as standing 7 to 10 feet tall, an imposing figure to be sure. While this might seem implausible at first glance, it's not outside the realm of biological possibility. In fact, the extinct Gigantopithecus, a distant relative of modern orangutans, is believed to have stood up to 10 feet tall. This shows that primates can indeed evolve to reach such impressive sizes. For any species to survive, it needs a sustainable population. Scientists estimate that a minimum of about 500 individuals would be necessary to maintain genetic diversity and ensure the long-term survival of a species like Bigfoot. This is a significant number of large creatures to remain hidden, but not entirely impossible if spread across vast remote areas. Diet is another crucial factor. Bigfoot, if it exists, would likely be an omnivore similar to bears. This flexible diet, consisting of plants, fruits, and occasional meat, would allow it to adapt to various food sources available in different seasons and locations. Intelligence must also be considered. If Bigfoot has managed to evade definitive detection for so long, it would likely possess a high level of intelligence. This isn't far-fetched when we look at other great apes, known for their problem-solving skills and even tool use. Lastly, it's worth noting that the discovery of new large animals, while rare, isn't unprecedented. The Saula, a large bovine species, was only discovered in 1992 in the forests of Vietnam. Even more dramatically, the giant squid, long thought to be a myth, was first filmed in its natural habitat as recently as 2004. While these factors don't prove Bigfoot's existence, they do suggest that from a purely biological standpoint, the existence of an undiscovered large primate isn't entirely impossible. The challenges are significant, but nature has surprised us before. With this context in mind, let's now turn to the evidence that has kept the Bigfoot mystery alive for so long. Despite the theoretical possibility of Bigfoot's existence, one glaring issue stands out, the lack of physical remains. No Bigfoot bones or bodies have ever been conclusively identified, which is a significant hurdle for those arguing for its existence. However, some researchers have proposed intriguing theories to explain this absence. One suggestion is that if Bigfoot exists, its population might be critically low and dwindling. This could explain the scarcity of remains. There simply aren't many individuals left to leave evidence behind. Even more fascinating is the hypothesis that Bigfoot might have primitive burial traditions. While this might sound far-fetched, we know that some animals, like elephants, show complex behaviors around their dead. If true, this could further reduce the likelihood of stumbling upon Bigfoot remains in the wild. But absence of evidence isn't necessarily evidence of absence. 
let's explore some of the most compelling Bigfoot evidence that has emerged over the years. The story of the 1990 Oregon Calls, which we touched on earlier, is particularly intriguing. That November night wasn't an isolated incident. Similar vocalizations have been reported across North America, from the Pacific Northwest to the Appalachian Mountains. What makes these sounds so compelling is their consistency across different locations and times. Audio analysts who've studied these recordings note that the vocalizations don't match any known wildlife. Moreover, they possess a complexity that would be difficult for humans to replicate, especially in the wilderness conditions where they're often recorded. Footprints have long been a cornerstone of Bigfoot evidence, though they've also been a source of controversy. In the 1950s and 60s, a man named Ray Wallace famously admitted to faking Bigfoot prints, casting doubt on this type of evidence. However, the story doesn't end there. Credible prints have been found in areas Wallace never visited, suggesting that not all footprint evidence can be attributed to hoaxes. Dr. Jeffrey Meldrum, a professor of anatomy and anthropology at Idaho State University, has studied hundreds of alleged Bigfoot prints. His expert analysis suggests that some of these prints show anatomical details that would be very difficult to fake. These include subtle features like mid-tarsal breaks and flexible feet that are consistent with a large bipedal primate but distinct from human feet. Perhaps the most famous piece of Bigfoot evidence is the Patterson-Gimlin film from 1967. This short piece of footage purportedly shows a female Bigfoot walking along a creek bed in Northern California. While many dismiss it as a hoax, several factors make this film compelling even to some skeptics. First, the creature's gait and proportions are notably different from a human's. It exhibits a smooth, compliant walk that's difficult for a person to replicate, especially in a bulky costume. Secondly, careful analysis of the film reveals muscle groups visibly moving under the fur. This level of detail would be extremely difficult to fake with 1967 costume technology. The joint alignments, particularly in the legs, don't match human anatomy. This is especially noticeable in the knee joints, which appear to bend differently from a human's. Lastly, it's worth noting that advanced animatronics capable of this fluid, natural movement simply didn't exist in 1967. While modern special effects could potentially recreate such a creature, the technology of the time makes a hoax of this quality highly improbable. Each piece of evidence, when viewed in isolation, might not be convincing. But when we step back and look at the broader picture, the consistent reports, the complex vocalizations, the anatomically curious footprints, and the perplexing film footage, we're left with a mystery that continues to intrigue both amateur enthusiasts and some professional scientists alike. After examining the habitat requirements, biological plausibility and various forms of evidence, we're left with a fascinating possibility. While mainstream science remains skeptical, the evidence suggests that Bigfoot's existence, while unlikely, isn't entirely impossible. If Bigfoot does exist, it may well be a critically endangered species. The increasing human encroachment on wild areas, climate change and habitat loss could be pushing an already rare creature to the brink of extinction. Thanks for watching. If you like this documentary style video, make sure to subscribe and take a look at our analysis of the Kraken or our Cryptids Explored series.